so I got in touch and said, you know, would you help me? So she said, yeah, and it all started there. And um, yeah, I've lost 32 pounds since the 28th of December. So I was a, um, a much bigger picture than what I am today, even though I'm still on my journey. But I really want to do it this time. I really, but not only do I want to lose weight, I want to do the portion control and I want to I want to be fit. I don't wanna be old and knackered when I retire. I want to be fit and healthy and like grow old nicely and go up walking mountains if I want to. I don't want to be sedentary on the couch watching telly. Hello everybody, I went to Jenny to um gain health as I now call it. Um and it's been uh, really interesting and it's been exciting and I've really enjoyed it. And Jenny has been with me every step of the way and we've done it together. It's um, It's been great and what I've enjoyed about it, it's been individual to me. It hasn't been um, a set format. It hasn't been, this is what I do for people who want to gain health. Um, lose weight, diet, all the unconventional all the conventional terminology that doesn't really work. Um, so I'm here to tell you about my successes. Really. Before I tried and I'd had some successes at um, gaining health before. Um, I'd done exercises routine, I'd done really good nutritional things and I'd had successes but I always seemed to stop. So um, December last year, um, I was really, really heavy, really, really fed up with myself and thinking, you know, when is it going to be your time, Andy? When are you going to do this forever? When's it going to be a forever decision that you're going to gain health? And you know, when you get older and you've got your family to look after and you're thinking about your retirement and you want to be healthy, you want to climb mountains, you'll have all this lovely time off where you don't go to work. So this was me at Christmas thinking, okay, so um, I set about some goals. So I got in touch and said, you know, would you help me? So she said, yeah, and it all started there. And um, yeah, I've lost 32 pounds since the 28th of December. So I was a, um, a much bigger picture than what I am today, even though I'm still on my journey. So um, yeah, I'd had my successes, but then I always stopped. So Jenny said, Mandy, what do you want? She didn't tell me, you know, this is what I'm going to do. She said, what do you want? So what I wanted was the determination to succeed. I wanted to succeed. I didn't want to stop anymore. I wanted to carry on and reach my goals and gain health. So that's the first thing she told me. She said, Mandy, you're not losing anything. You're gaining everything. You know, you're gaining health. So we took steps together and Jenny talked me through the processes and put me in trance, which luckily I remember all of my trances. So, you know, that had an impact on me because I could reflect on those conversations and on those trances. But things that helped. I wanted. I wanted to get up early in the morning. I wanted my own time. So it wasn't all about food. It wasn't about overeating. It was like, how did I want to live my life? Well, I want to get up early in the morning, Jenny. You know, I love dancing. I want to dance every morning before I go to work. I want to sit and have a cup of tea. I want the house quiet without my husband and daughter. So, you know, we focused on getting me to achieve that. And it's lovely. And then um, I wanted to drink more water. So, you know, um, I'm drinking loads of water now and it's just wonderful. Um, things I wanted, but um, I used to walk down the street and waddle and be like 20 years older than myself. And my legs were so heavy because I was just so heavy. You know, I walked slowly. So I started walking fast. Jenny helped me walk down the street with purpose and not just traips behind, you know? Um, and I'm still doing it. That was like in January or February, she helped me walk fast and now it's July going into August and I'm still walking with purpose. It's lovely. Um, 
Ah, uh, portion control. Yeah, that was touched on because I used to eat nice things, but I just eat so much of them. I just ate too much food. So we did portion control, and I just started. My husband, especially when he cooks for me, gives me these big dinners. So I just started halving them and leaving half on the plate to show him. You know, it's just a bit too much, love. You know, I don't need this, but. Having the trance and having the sessions on, you know, when you've had enough, you stop eating. So that was nice. And now my husband just gives me like normal size meals because he knows um, that he was giving me too much. And also for myself, I, 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 if I want poached egg on toast, I only have one egg. I don't need to. You know, it's all for things that, um, that, are brought in gradually it's a, a gradual process um what else i always i'm very lucky i love vegetables i love salad but just the impetus sometimes you don't feel like cooking them so i, I had i brought that in you know i want to um although i want to gain health but i love my veggies but i want to make time for myself to do it and shopping i used to get fed up of all the big shop and two hours a week and now that was brought into trance and how I do my shopping I, I can do it just uh, on the go on the way home I don't need to do a big shop and spend two to three hours getting there and back and shopping there. so now I do little shops so um yeah I enjoy my family that was brought into it just to enjoy um, being with my daughter and my husband and having our time together and for them to give me space and the more I get out and do my own thing you know the more they give me time to, to, to do that so that was brought into it time for me to dance in the morning also um, having more liveliness after work when you just want to sit down and don't do anything and I've got more energy. So now in the evenings I go swimming, I say bye to my family and or I, I drop them off from work and I go straight to the swimming pool. Um, yeah, that was brought about by um, my um, self-sabotaging inner child. Yes, um, I found out that one of the reasons that I was stopping, because obviously it's a stop-start game, I'm like, Jenny, I didn't do it this time. What what stopped me? I think I've got self-sabotage. And she said, well, let's see. So um, my inner child was getting a bit bored. She was getting a bit bored with all this cycling and dancing and wanted to go and swim. And wanted me to have a teddy bear. So I've got a teddy bear and I went swimming. And I joined the health club to use the pool. And I'm happy and happy as can be doing that. And also, um, I have to do hopscotch occasionally as well, so just to keep that inner child a bit more playful because she was just wanted a bit more playfulness in my life. Yeah, so. I, I, I don't beat myself up. Yeah, you know, you can have your cheat days. You can have those days when I think, oh, I've still got my determination. Um, I haven't seen Jenny for some six weeks now and my life has become normal. Everything I wanted and hoped for in December and envisaged what I wanted my year to be like is um it's all normal now I get up normally early in the morning I have my dance I have my cup of tea pot around the house go to work um sometimes I go for a walk in my lunch which is nice um I have my salads I have I prepare my lunch in the morning so that's nice um uh yeah uh, I, I go so you know I hope you all get something out of this and you have your journeys with, with your um, I, I would just um, encourage you all it's fantastic uh, uh, my life's turned around and uh, I hope I hope you uh, can take something from this thank you bye bye